on this week's episode, Daniel McKenna sues Peloton for wrongful termination. And Peloton is a top seller in Amazon Prime's early access sale and much, much more. Welcome to Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. Here are your hosts, Amanda Siegel and John Pruitt. Welcome to episode 103 of Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. I'm John Pruitt, joined as always by my co-host, Amanda Siegel. Hey now, Amanda. Hey, John. How you doing? I am good. How is everything in Maryland? Yeah, it's been crazy. <laughs> we are in the throes in four, week four of um, our renovation here, and um, it's been a little crazy. But um, fun, fun, and um, just a lot going on. My um, nephew got married this weekend. So um, that was a very exciting weekend um, with everybody. It was the first in the family. So oh. my sister's son, um, yeah. So that was fun and had all the kids and everybody down here. And um, yeah, if the sound isn't great today, guys, I do have to apologize, but um, this was the only place that I could get to record and it is a little noisy in the background. So I do apologize. Um, do you have, a, ba do you have a, a, a basement? In Maryland, like I don't a finished have basement, right now. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we are literally living in our first floor. My basement is filled with all my furniture from my uh, from my main level, ah, and, okay. uh, and yeah, yeah. So we should we should be we should be ending. It should be ending soon. But um, sorry about that, folks. All right. Um, how about you, John? All good there. You had you enjoyed your um your weekend. My solo? weekend of freedom. Yeah. The the concert, the Killers concert was amazing. That was probably the highlight of uh, of my weekend. I was on the floor and I was right up. It was general admission uh, on the floor at oh. the Little Caesars Arena, which is where the Detroit Red Wings play their hockey games in downtown Detroit. Um, so that was an amazing. And I got there really early. So the, there weren't that many people on the floor yet. So I was super close to the stage. And um, I posted a bunch of clips, but it was a great concert. I'd never seen them before in yeah, concert, but they put on a really good show and really cool visuals on uh you know the screens and the backdrop on the stage so it was it was real fun jackie was jealous that's awesome yeah it looked yeah. amazing saw the clips and it really did look amazing absolutely all right well i guess john we should get right into it um before we get started with the news we always like to remind you how you can keep up to date with all of our content across all of our platforms every episode is released on our youtube channel just hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand side of the video and hit the notify button so that you never miss an episode yes and if you are on the go you know you can always listen to us. We are on all podcast platforms. Just search Pillow Buddy TV. Be sure if you haven't already, click subscribe, hit notifications so you never miss an episode. And please leave us a review. We love to see a lot of the positive reviews that we get. and We love to read them on the show. And also we appreciate the feedback on different ways we can add to the show and improve on improve on it. For sure. And of course, folks, by now you all know, but we are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Just search for Pillow Buddy, like, follow us um, on these platforms for all of the latest news. And I guess, John, let's get on with the show. All right. First, let's do a rundown of the latest Pillow news. All right, folks, I will preface our top story, our top news story with the following. We are here to share all things Peloton. We will share the facts as we know them with no bias or opinion. Um, the top story for this week, with that being said, is um, most certainly that we have learned now that former tread and strength coach Daniel McKenna has in fact filed a lawsuit against Peloton and naming his former boss and chief content officer, Jennifer Carter, as the liable parties. Um, he alleges wrongful termination, discrimination, harassment, and retaliation 
For those wanting to take a look at the full lawsuit, you certainly can read all 30 plus pages. Um, and if you head over to pellobuddy.com, Chris does have a link to the actual filing. Um, but, in, but in short, um, the filing states the following. Um, Daniel Patrick McKenna, who is named as the plaintiff or Mr. McKenna, through his counsel, files his verified complaint against his former employer, defendant Peloton Interactive, um, and defendant Jennifer Cutter, named as defendant Cutter, um, collectively defendant, um, asserting inter alia several claims, breach of the employment agreement, actual disability and perceived disability-based discrimination, failure to engage in good faith interactive process, hostile work environment and retaliation. The complaint also states that Daniel was subject to a hostile work environment and that Peloton's conduct was knowing, malicious, willful and wanton and showed a reckless disregard for which has caused and continues to cause him to suffer economic and non-economic -econ damages, permanent harm to his professional and personal reputations, and severe mental anguish and emotional distress. It does go on to argue that he um, was not given any notice or legitimate reasoning for his termination. And according to the filing, Daniel's last day of Peloton was in fact September 12th, 2022. This was three weeks before Peloton in fact announced his departure to members. Um, it go, also says that he was reportedly fired via a Zoom meeting and was mm -hmm. offered a severance package amounting to six months of pay, which equaled $130,000. As an interesting side note, that implies that Daniel's annual salary was $260,000, excluding any bonuses and equity. So that's just kind of the, you know, the, the basis of, of this um, lawsuit that he has now filed against Peloton. Um, and that is just one side of this case. We have yet to have heard from Peloton. We do not know whether or not um, they are going to, you know, counter, whether they're going to settle. And we are here to share the news with you as it happens. So as information comes to us um, and we're able to share that with you, uh, we will obviously um, do so. Yeah. And and I can see the outpouring. You know, you can obviously see the outpouring of support for him. I know a lot of members have added the hashtag, I stand with Daniel. I've also heard that... Um, in recent classes, some instructors have sort of paid little tributes to him. I know um, Ali said, you know, one more for luck. There, there was different sort of Daniel McKenna-isms um, yeah. recently in classes, uh, which would lead me to believe they were in support of him. But um, like you said, Amanda, this is just one side of it. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how Peloton responds and if what they make, if any of it is public as to, you know, the reasons that they give for his termination. Um, but obviously there's going to be, we'll, we'll have more detail in the coming weeks, I would think. But, um, I, you know, I, I had a feeling that there was going to be, you know, something coming out, you know, after he was quietly, you know, after he was after he was quietly departed from the company, it just, it all felt off, um, you know, as it yeah. did for, for pretty much everybody who was wondering what happened. Um, so it's, it's just unfortunate, you know, with all the other negative news that, you know, that we have this now, um, and that he was under these circumstances. Yeah, I think, I think it is unfortunate. I think from a member's perspective, from Peloton perspective, from certainly Daniel's perspective, um, yeah, it's the whole situation is, is, um, you know, one that I guess everybody wished hadn't happened. Um, and again, I think there, you know, there are two sides to every story. Um, and then of course there's the truth, uh, right. They always say that there are three sides, we should say three sides to every story, his, hers, and the truth. Um, and we'll just wait to hear further. Um, and I just hope that, you know, I hope that members, um, 
you know, can can continue to believe in everything else that Peloton is good for. Um, and that, you know, that that I see there's so much negativity that that we're seeing just all over, all over social media. Um, and, you know, uh, again, I, I, I don't I don't have an opinion. I do not have an opinion. I think that there are two sides and um, I'm just you know, reporting what has happened in this past week, which obviously shook a community that was, you know, devastated initially that he was no longer there. Um, but, you know, there there are rules and regulations and, and maybe those are being complied by. Um, well, the one of my two cents. And the one thing that's most disappointing that I think everyone, if they don't realize or not, is regardless of the outcome of this, he's still no longer a Peloton instructor. So... It's not like he's going to be coming back to the platform. And and the one thing that makes me, um, you know, uh, worry is now, will his content be pulled from the library yeah. given this pending yeah. lawsuit? Because, you know, initially in that in that small statement that they made last, uh, last week or on the 3rd, yeah, the 3rd of October, mm -hmm. you know, they said his content would remain in the library. It'll be interesting to see... Um, if it does, so it is still there. Stay in there. What it has done, a lot of people panicked because um, what what happens when an instructor is no longer um, there permanently, you know, a, a fixture, their their um, they move his name down, kind of goes to the bottom. Right, right. Correct. It's Correct. down there. It's it's, no it's right next to Chase. It's right next to Chase Tucker. So it is the there. Yeah. It is there. Um, if folks are looking for him, I know that I saw a couple people, you know, panic and say, "Oh my gosh, you know, he's gone, he's gone," and the the, the stuff is still there. Um, whereas, as we've said before, with someone like Oliver Lee, the, you know, his, his footprint was erased almost immediately. Right. Um, so yes, I do hope that, um, for those that would really continue to use the material that's there, um, that they're able to, um, I think removing it would probably just add more fuel to the fire. So it's probably a good idea yeah. on Peloton's part, you know, to keep, to keep it there. Um, and, you know, I guess we'll, we'll wait and see, I guess we'll wait and see, you know, I'm, I'm sad for everybody. I, I, we've said this a thousand times. We hate hearing negative, anything negative on whatever it is about Peloton. And, and this is just sad. Um, so from all, and again, from, from all perspectives. So, yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's, the, that's the news folks. And, um, you know, obviously, most of you have read about it and heard about it. This is just us sharing it with you um, in in live in live form. Yeah. Well, moving on um, regarding the Wall Street Journal article that Barry McCarthy was quoted in last week regarding the the outlook of the company and the recent layoffs. Um, so last week on the six, um, Barry had put out a public memo. Um, in an attempt to clarify the reporting earlier around Peloton's business, in which um, it said Peloton had six months to prove it could still operate as a standalone business and not be sold. And Peloton had provided some quotes to the Wall Street Journal to try and provide context around that. Um, as it said, they were at the time they were laying off 500, you know, another round of layoffs, laying off 500 people. Um, so Barry had an updated statement in response to that report to clarify some things. And he said, quote, I joined Peloton for the comeback story, not to sell the business. And today the business is fundamentally more sound than ever and on the right path. So to be clear, there is no time clock nipping at our heels. If my comments to the Wall Street Journal suggested otherwise, then I misspoke as that simply is not true. Um, he further clarified that in an internal email to the team, um, as first reported by Miles Grote on Twitter. Um, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit. Um, he said, the article creates the impression we have six months to live, which is at odds with the story we told in the state of the business. That's on me, and I apologize. I was asked the question, how much time do you think you have to show success? My response was 12 months from the time I joined Peloton, knowing that we're already showing significant progress and in record time. Seemed like a no-brainer at the time, he said. Um, you can view Barry's full statement on the Peloton investor site, which we also have linked um, to this write-up 
on this story on PelloBuddy.com. Yeah, I'm glad we, I mean, unfortunately our timing last week was a little bit off because that came out right, I think, right after we recorded. So um, yeah. I'm glad we were able to add that, you know, that update to this week's show um, because I think people were panicking and, and got into complete flat spin um, with, with the news last week. So um, really glad that we were able to incorporate that and, um, and add that in. Um, all right. Well, for folks that were looking to purchase the Peloton bike, and there are, believe it or not, still lots and lots of people that want to get on the bandwagon, um, they were able to do so um, for the lowest price ever. <laughs> and where? During Amazon's Prime Early Access. I mean, who would have thought? So for um, folks in the U.S., back on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Amazon do this early prime access where they give folks the ability to go on and just have great savings. So it's kind of like a pre-Black Friday sale um, that they do. And the bikes were $220 off, so a 15% savings. The Peloton Guide was discounted by $45, so also a 15% discount. Um, also on sale was the heart rate band, the Peloton shoes, um, some weights, um, and the bike mat. Um, the bike plus, the tread, and of course the newly released row were not offered. Um, but folks, these are not available on the site anyway. So it wasn't as if, you know, they suddenly were, you know, going to appear just because there was this early access. Yeah. Um, interestingly though, we have found out that some of the best selling items from the top 100 deals included the Peloton bike. Um, and that was in hand in hand with the MacBook Air M1, the Bose earbuds and the headphones. So it was right up there. There are still folks looking to jump on the bandwagon. And I think it just made it even clearer that um, the cost for some was prohibitive or has been prohibited. Mm -hmm. So that was definitely, um, you know, that was definitely a, a point. And then of course, you know, we, we're just a month away or two, from, yeah, a month and a half away from Black Friday. So definitely stay tuned for Black Friday sales um, next month because I can almost bet you know, my bottom dollar, I know Chris feels strongly about it too, that there will most probably be Black Friday sales so that they continue to just move the inventory. Um, but these little, you know, sparks of, of trying to get stuff quickly um, is, is a way of, of, you know, people just jumping on and getting good deals. Well, we've got, we've got Black Friday sales with Peloton and then also Amazon has what? Amazon is Amazon Prime Day around Black right. Friday, or is that a totally separate? There's Cyber Monday, so there's still yeah. that summer. Amazon it's Prime Day summer. is summer in July. Okay, well we still have Cyber Monday. That's the following Monday after Black Friday, I think, or right around there. Correct. So, so there's Correct. yes, there's still thank you control room. There's still deals to be had. So, don't fret if you missed out and are, are still wanting to pull the trigger. All right, yeah, and uh, while we were uh, on the subject of Amazon, Amanda, uh, Peloton was apparently doing some price matching um, with that sale that happened with the Amazon Prime early access. Um, we received some reports from people that had made purchases through Peloton, not through Amazon, but through Peloton the last 30 days um, where they were able to successfully get some sort of credit back or um, a partial refund for the price difference from when they made their purchase and from when it went on sale. Um, so well, nice. That was good. I mean, that's nice that at least they honored that. So for those folks that had just bought something, you know, through Peloton, they were able to get that that price match. So that was actually really cool. And they've been pretty good. Folks just going. They've had a pretty good track record too in terms of retroactively crediting members back on their purchases when they purchased the bike plus and the, the price dropped or on the, the original bike. Um, so that's nice to hear that they're still, um, you know, taking care of people, getting some money back in their pocket. Right. And I guess that's also because you can return within 30 days. So instead of people returning and then quickly buying it on Amazon, you know, these, these special deals, that was a way of them still allowing folks to do it that way. So that makes sense. Exactly. That makes yeah. Sense. Well, 
for those of you in UK and Germany that are all jealous about these Amazon Prime days and these Amazon deals that, that are go that are flying around here in the US, US um, it does seem that the Peloton products will maybe and it was rumored that um, they could in fact be coming to the UK and Germany. So our trusty resource, uh, Bob Tremor, had posted on Twitter that there was potentially um, the rumor that both the United Kingdom and Germany will in fact host products in the future on the Amazon sites. So um, I know that there were definitely folks that were frustrated that it was just the US that was getting access to to do this. But it does look that but look like within the next, you know, little bit, we'll definitely see that happening. And of course, we'll absolutely keep you updated um, here. It's great. Well, in baby news, um, one of the instructors uh, had another baby. So um, Chelsea Jackson Roberts, Dr. Chelsea Jackson, um, she gave birth to her first child, a baby boy named Noble Antoine Roberts, who was born on September 21st. So congratulations to her and her husband. And you know what date that was, right? The 21st. Child. What was, what's the significance of that day? My birthday. Oh, your birthday. 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 Yeah. How did I forget? It? I mean, come back, on. But back to Amanda. <laughs> oh, back to Amanda. <laughs> I was so excited when I saw that. And it was actually quite funny because she announced it on social on Monday, which was October 10th. And it was my twin. Yeah, she waited. Monday. She waited a while. So she did wait yeah. a while. And I had no idea that she'd even had the baby. Um, but I got so excited when I saw that um, that he was born on the 21st. And I sent her a little note and she sent me such a sweet little note back. So, um, so that was very exciting to see. Yeah, they're popping out. So I guess we just have Selena and Selena Beck yes. and Jess. I think Jess Bex, King. I, I think Jess King is, is due next. Yeah. Okay. I think you're I'm, right. She, I think Jess she's due, due like next. Jess is due like really soon. Um, yeah. So that could be any time now. I think now. so too. I, I think so too. I think so too. Yep. So we have three, three more to go. Three more All. to go. Her last class. Halloween. She said for Jeff. I'm Jess King. So Halloween's uh, going to be Jess King's last class. Gotcha. Um, so, before the so, baby. Yeah, yeah, before the baby. Nice. All right. And listen up, all our Aussie viewers and listeners. We always tend to share news, and it's never about you guys. But this week, we have some very exciting news for you. Um, and that is that Australian yoga and meditation instructor, Kira Michelle, is heading home to Australia and members will have an opportunity to attend a meet and greet event in Sydney on October 28th. So um, that was really exciting to see Australian members um, will have an opportunity. Now, those that are in Sydney, obviously it's very easy to be able to go to, but those that are not in Sydney also have an opportunity to do uh, to get to meet Kira, and that is that they are um, doing a uh, a contest for folks that enter that they can actually win a trip to Sydney. Oh. So there will be some lucky member from Melbourne or Perth or wherever else uh, that can, um, in fact, um, enter and get to be at the meetup as well. The so this is only for a member company. in Australia. Only open to it Australians, only, yeah. Yes, it is okay. only open to Australians, of course. Yes, gotcha. yes. Um, the meetup is going to be at the Westfield Bondi Junction Peloton showroom. That was the first Peloton showroom that, in fact, opened up in, in Australia. It's um, from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. And it does say... Um, uh, you're a member plus guest. So if somebody is wanting to go and bring a friend along, great way to introduce a friend to Peloton if they're not a Peloton member, uh, but you do have to register. And there is an Eventbrite um, link that folks can log on um, in order to register for the event, um, because I'm sure they're going to have limited space. It is free, there's no charge for it, but you do have to register. Um, I just guess they want to know how many people are, you know, planning on coming. Um, and folks will be able to to chat with Kira, have a photo,
photo op um, and schmooze with some light refreshments that are being served. So that should be so much fun um, and a nice opportunity for the members to feel part of the community. Yeah, it's, it's great to see the meet and greets, um, you know, finally making a return, making a return um, like Love we've had it. in Germany and uh, yeah, and some in the States with event with local events, not at uh, not so much at showrooms, but where you could go to an event, the one in New Orleans recently that Ali and some of the other instructors were at. That's right. Um, yes. So it's it's just nice. I, I got I was lucky enough to have a meet and greet in the Austin showroom years ago when uh, it first opened when we lived there and Dennis came to that one. It was super fun because it was just, you know, the, the the member number membership was way, way less back then. So it was a really small, intimate gathering. Yeah, I've never I've never been to one. I think I mentioned that last week on the show. I've never been to one, but um, uh, definitely fun. And if I knew that there was one in D.C. and I would definitely go. The Ty Tyson's just moved in the Tyson's Corner, which is in Virginia, but close to, you know, just across the just across the water. The Potomac um, has a beautiful new showroom. They just opened up a gorgeous new showroom. I was there when I went to test the row. So I would love and, and you know, it's so funny because there's so many instructors that come into D.C. I mean, Robin Razan was at the, you know, at the White House and um, Tunde and, and Aditi were at the White House. So it's literally a 20 minute drive, um, you know, from from downtown D.C. into into um, uh, Tyson's Corner. So um, it would be fun to see if anybody was to do that. Um, yeah. I know that unofficially uh, instructors have gone into stores. They just um, pop in. Yeah. If you're lucky Benny, enough. Benny Adami loves the Aventura Mall store. And they were very excited that he had, you know, <laughs> popped into a to store there. Yeah. I think he's gone a couple times. Yeah, I think he's gone a couple times. So um, so very nice. Cool. Well, we had a new artist series announced um, this past Sunday, actually. Um, and the newest artist series will be Daddy Yankee. Um with classes that actually all dropped on demand during the pause and reflect three days off that Peloton had taken. They all dropped on Wednesday, October 12th. And um, Daddy Yankee, if you're not familiar with the artist, um, he was the most recent one to be featured in Peloton's Latin, Latinx and Hispanic Heritage Month celebration, um, joining artists Gloria Stefan and Bad Bunny. Um, he's considered the founding father of reggaeton, um, and he is a Puerto Rican singer. He's a rapper, composer, and actor, um, and is credited as the person who coined that term, reggaeton, in his 1991 song. Oh, man, I don't know if I want to even try to pronounce this. So, <laughs> so persuegme note tedengas. Oh, stop right there. Stop uh, right Anyway, there. he's hate he's for our Latino <laughs> members to like stop watching the show because we don't know how to pronounce these names. <laughs> he has sold over 30 million albums worldwide. Um, like I said, father, founding father of reggaeton. Um, and you can also expect to receive an artist badge uh, for the completion of any of his classes, in addition to the LH um, HM badge. But there was three classes. Uh, no, more than three classes. Sorry. There was the 30 minute Daddy Yankee ride with Ali. 20-minute Daddy Yankee shadow boxing with Rad Lopez, a 30-minute run with Robin, 30-minute ride with Camilla, which was in Spanish, and a 20-minute ride with Eric Yeager, which was in German. Um, but they all dropped on demand um, that Wednesday the 12th, so they are all waiting for you if you haven't had a chance to take any of those. Awesome. And October 10th was World Mental Health Day. Um, and Peloton, as they have um, over the past few years, went ahead and dropped six brand new classes for members to join in on. Um, so with both studios being closed um, in New York and London for the Pause and Reflect, um, it was a nice opportunity for folks to have something to do and um, to utilize on the platform. So um, they would drop late on Sunday night, um, but appeared on um, the encore men on the encore schedule for Monday. A lot of those classes were in fact on the encore. Of course, you could get them off the on demand, but they were in fact encore. So you could jump on with, you know, friends and all kind of ride at the same time if you were looking at the schedule for that day. 
Um, there was a 30 minute world mental health day ride with Kendall. She is infamous for her uh, for her absolutely amazing, amazing rides. And this one was yet another not to disappoint. Um, there was a 10 minute mental health day meditation, um, which was in Spanish with Mariana Fernandez, um, a 20 minute walk with John Husking, um, a 20 minute yoga flow with Kira Michelle, um, a 30 minute um, run with Jeffrey McEachin and a 30 minute full body strength with Selena Samuela. So um, there definitely was an amazing array of modalities and workouts that you could do. I did a couple of them um, and they really were as special as, as ever. Um, there wasn't a new badge, uh, but what they did go ahead and do is they took the badge that was last year's Mental Health 2021 and they changed it to a Mental Health World Day badge. So um, yeah. there was a badge if you if you were to take um, if you were to take uh, one of the classes or all of the classes. So um, yeah, really glad that they support mental health. And we've always said so often how amazing it is that the instructors are so open and share their own journeys with mental health, uh, which is fantastic. Well, we had a lot of class drops during the pause and reflect period. And we also had some new Pride 365 classes uh, drop, which are in support of National Coming Out Day. Um, there was three classes that all dropped on Tuesday the 11th. First one was a 10-minute Pride 365 Courage Meditation with Ross Rayburn. Then we had a 20-minute Pride 365 Upper Body Strength with Maddie Majacmo. And then the third one was a 30-minute Pride 365 walk in German with Jeffrey McEachern. So um, there's plenty. There was there was plenty to do during those um, three days off that we didn't have live classes. I I took it easy. Um, it was yeah. I, I I seemed to just sort of you know I just did some meditation Monday. I did a, a boot camp, but Tuesday and Wednesday, I didn't do anything. Stayed off the yeah. bike and the tread. Yeah. Just just took rest days. That's good. And it's good. Yeah. Your body needed it. And it's always good to break. reset and recharge. And exactly. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's one of the reasons maybe they even do these pause and reflect so that it, it kind of forces, because some people are so hell-bent on only doing live classes, that it forces <laughs> people to, you know, to really do that, which, which you, I mean, you've, you've often said that you really prefer live classes to, yeah, to yeah. on demand. So, um, so for sure. Well, for those of you um, this past week that jumped on your bike and, um, and, and thought that Peloton had kind of gone bonkers uh, because there were suddenly tread classes on your Peloton bike and that you wouldn't believe how many people reached out to me to say, oh my God, Peloton, like, you know, what's going on? I'm like, do you not look at Pelobody? Do you not know why? Um, so what Peloton had uh, had done is they've actually made the um, our future selves classes um, now available on the bike for members to participate. So for folks that aren't familiar at this point, we speak about it each week on the show, but our future selves is the collaboration that Peloton has with Ashton Kutcher. Um, and and part which is kind of part of his training schedule to run the New York Marathon in in November. So his purpose is to fundraise for his nonprofit organization Thorn, which fights against the exploitation um, of children. Um, so it's definitely a nice way for those folks who don't have the tread to be able to be a part of the series, um, which features Ashton running alongside Peloton instructors. So we've seen quite a few come on there and some of them are in fact bike instructors. So one that just pops into my mind, Dennis Morton is, you know, one of the, tra what, you know, on there running. Yeah, um, Alex, Alex Toussaint. Uh, yep, yeah, Alex Toussaint, yeah, exactly, exactly. And I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing the note from our control room. So originally they were in the main class list on the bike, but now they're in the collection. Oh, perfect. Okay, I didn't. I didn't actually realize that because I saw them on the main when I when I hopped on on Monday. I saw them on there. I was like, oh, this is this is fun. Um, so that's nice to know that they're now in the collection. But together with the Peloton instructors, folks, um, Ashton is running with the most amazing Natalie Portman, um, country music star Kenny Chesney. Chesney, yeah. Uh, Chesney, yep. Chris Paul, Adam Grant, Alison Felix, 
and of course Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Last um, but not least. So if you if you want to know what all the hype was about for everybody talking about Kim, um, you can get to see that um, if you do it right. And I actually did do I did do a couple. I did um, the Natalie Portman, and I did I redid Bex's introductory one. I think it was mm -hmm. just it may even have just been a warm up, um, and it was kind of weird. It, it was definitely different. But you know what I actually did um, was I just said mine to all I, I with the bike plus you can set it to auto resistance so it kind of did the resistance for me um which was which was kind of good so um and so, this yeah. week's this so week's I, was new with allison felix and bex gentry yes 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 and new on yes it was it was absolutely new so yeah so that was um fun so for those of you they haven't quite gone bunkers they're actually being very nice and giving those folks that don't have the tread or maybe it's kind of their ploy that if you see them on the tread you're going to want to go out and buy one uh, exactly so, exactly yeah. it's just getting more exposure <laughs> for somebody that's interested for sure they're, they know what they're, they know what they're doing and what's funny is you know the the official peloton member page on on facebook can be such a hot mess but even somebody i even noticed somebody Somebody was complaining that those classes were on the bike and they were they were whining about how it was clogging up their their feed oh, and, and taking up me? and taking up real estate on their bike uh, tablet. <laughs> Come on, of all the things to complain about, do you have anything better? But that's, that's just, you know, that's that's the well, nature maybe, well, maybe of, of the beast in that page. Maybe but maybe they listen, John, and that's why they put it in the collection. They took it off the. <laughs> I mean, come on. Ay, ay, ay. Yep. So, All right. anyhow, um, a very happy birthday to yoga and meditation instructor Kira Michelle, who celebrated her birthday, I think it was this past Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it, was it was Monday. Was, no, it was Monday, the 10th. Okay. Yep, October the 10th. Yep, Same happy day birthday to her. So, yeah. Oh, your twin's birthday, too. Wow. That, yep, yeah, was the 10, 10, 10, 10. And I guess, John, that actually wraps up the news. So it was kind of, you know, there it all is. Um, lots to digest, as always. But of course, Instructor in the News is up next. And I will start it off with um, Robin Arzan. Um, she was featured this past week in Women's Health in an article entitled How Robin Arzan Learned to Trust Herself um, it chats about how the lawyer turned Peloton superstar sought out to find her purpose and architect a new life. If you're interested in reading the article, please head over to pelobuddy.com um, for the link. And it was the cover story um, to yes, point out. Yes, it so was the cover the, story. The big feature. It was the cover story, absolutely. And this past week, Kendall was interviewed on Pop Sugar. The title of that interview is Peloton's Kendall Tool has accepted her need for rest. I don't feel ashamed of it anymore. Um, it started out with her, uh, she was interviewed via Zoom and um, it started out with her at the beginning of October. She was taking a social media break for the, the weekend um, with her saying, you know, from her post, I love everybody, but I'm piecing out and I'll get back to social media when I want to get back to it. Um, and it talks about her, you know, uh, the importance of mental health and how big of an advocate um, she is for that through her own struggles uh, that she's gone through and that she shared about. Um, it talks about, you know, her suffering from obsessive compulsive disorder, depression, anxiety, um, suicidal thoughts in an Instagram live series that she's dubbed. Um, she usually does that weekly chats on the green, uh, but only recently um, she states that, uh, as personally and professionally fulfilling as it may be, it requires some serious rest so she can preserve her own mental health. Um, she goes on to say, the more things grow bigger, the more I need to recharge my battery. I always show up 100% because I know what a joy it is to be in the right place in my life, even on the tough days. Uh, but now I value rest and being a hermit. I accept it. I know I need it and I don't feel ashamed of it anymore. Um, and you know, it talks about her her collaborations with with brands like Revo and Spiritual Gangster, the clothing company, um, both of which donate a portion of their proceeds from her collections to the mental health nonprofit Bring Change to Mind. Um, and she just recently had um, an apparel drop uh, collaboration with Spiritual uh, Gangster just recently. 
Um, Which I have to yeah. say, flew off the shelves. I mean, it was gone. I yeah, is, is the beanie? The and it wasn't cheap. Oh, yeah. there was a beanie. There was a sweatsuit. There was, you know, there was a, a, there was tons of stuff. There was tons of stuff, and it absolutely went. I couldn't believe how quickly it went. So everybody was, you know, all about the knockouts, so which was amazing. Well, everyone who was in her ride that week, the weekend that it dropped, they all yes. got a they all got a free beanie because they all got to um, they showed them handing them out in the class, and they all took a big group picture with everyone uh, wearing their beanies afterwards. So that was a nice little bonus Very if you happened cool. to to be at the studio for that ride. I agree. I know that must have been so fun. Definitely. All right. And then rounding up our instructor in the news, it looks like our boy Cody Rigsby continues to be in the spotlight, this time in People magazine, um, in an article titled Peloton's Cody Rigsby opens up about his mental health. He says it's a very long journey. Uh, the article chats about how Cody has learned to prioritize his mental health care. He also talks about the role that financial security plays in mental health. And this article was sponsored by Credit Karma. So it actually was a paid placement by Credit Karma. So obviously Cody has some kind of collab with them. Um, but again, it was fun to get to see him, you know, in People magazine. So that was really cool. Nice. And that wraps up the news. We, um, yeah, we decided this week to um, put a pause and reflect on our <laughs> picks, picks of the, of the week. week. Um, <laughs> with there being, you know, lim yes, there was definitely the, the mental health drops. There was the 365 drops. Um, but with not being live classes, we decided um, to just take a pause ourselves and um, give you guys just a quick show this week with the uh, top news stories and the instructors in the news. But we are, we'll return to Picks of the Week next week because I know that lots of you really love getting to hear what other folks um, like to do. So, um, yeah, we took a little break on that. Yeah. All right. All right, John. Well, I guess then that wraps it up. So, folks, yeah, it was um, a quick one for our friends, um, for, for our friends, Zags fangirl, Nicola. Sorry, you're not going to get to <laughs> school and back on this show. You may yeah. get one way there. Um, Tony Sinkinson, I hope your cup of tea is still hot by the time you're um, finished watching this show because Tony and Sue do that um, every um sunday um and for all, for all else that get to watch and listen to the show thank you so much we really do appreciate it um i know i won't speak for john i know that um you know it's it's something we love to do we we do it with fun it's always not fun having to report some of the stuff that we report um and we yeah. certainly appreciate the feedback um that we've gotten from folks because we do try and be sensitive to everybody in the community so if we offend anybody or if we say something that folks don't like, um, we're sorry, but we do try and be cognizant of what we share with you guys. So yeah, and it's not, it's not, in, it's not intentional. So for um, sure, that's which we, we try to be sensitive to, to both sides. Exactly. Especially exactly. under, you know, in that, that, you know, the top story. So yes. All well, right. Well, I guess John, that is it. So, all right. Well, for me, um, for me in Michigan, Thank you for tuning in, watching, and listening. And as always, we will see you on the leaderboard. Yep. And from me here in Maryland, bye for now, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Pello Buddy TV, your source for everything Peloton, by the community, for the community. Work out with us using the Pello Buddy TV leaderboard tag and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Pello Buddy. Don't forget that we have a podcast available so that you can listen to us while on the move. Just search for Pello Buddy TV on any major platform and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.